So this is Palmon. Uh, it's, it's absolutely skyrocketed in the last few days on Steam and I thought I'd jump in and check it out. It's been compared a lot to Pokemon and you can see why, but honestly, I kind of disagree with it. For those who haven't heard of this game, the best way that I can think to describe it is that it's an open world survival game that has catchable monsters and that's keeping it brief. Uh, there's, there's no real story to the game that I've seen and that's why I think it steers away from those Pokemon comparisons. When you look at Pokemon, you play as a character, you explore whatever region the game's set in and your main goal is to catch, level up and use your Pokemon to beat gym leaders and become the greatest trainer. In Pal World, you're exploring this kind of open world, similar to like a Breath of the Wild. Uh, you're building bases, which is like similar to Rust or Ark, and catching monsters obviously is the closest it gets to a Pokemon game. I've managed to get a few hours uh, as of recording this, and so far I actually quite like it. Yes, it's janky, it's not fully flushed out or super polished, but it's fun, and personally, that's what I've been looking for in games lately. The game starts similar to any other open world survival. You are spawned with nothing um, and you're given very little instruction apart from a couple of hints and you, you're left to get going. The basics of every other survival game since Minecraft's alpha release are strong though and it doesn't take you long to get going. Gathering wood, stone, creating tools and capturing your first pal are pretty simple and before you know it you've got a kind of small base and a couple of pals to help you out with automating some stuff. And from there you're into the core gameplay loop, which is more akin to Ark or Rust. As I mentioned before, it strays further from the Pokemon comparisons. Yes, you do need to capture monsters and enforce unpaid labour on them, but that's not the core aspect of the game. Gathering the materials and building your base unlocks the potential for tech upgrades, gives you better crafting options and kind of automation through your pals. In the few hours that I've played, my little guys farm their own food and gather wood and stone for me so I can go out and explore and see what this open world has to see. I do think, however, one of the main things that's going to throw people are the graphics. It's an odd mixture between kind of semi-realistic but also cartoony. The environments are nice. It's built in Unreal Engine so the graphics will be good regardless. But each of the monsters running around is kind of little animated cartoony guy and they stick out a bit and sometimes. Other times you don't notice it so well but the difference between the kind of semi-realistic foliage and the stone texture, the tracks and gameplay and thinking that they're going to have to manage their hunger constantly. You can go pretty long without eating in this game and you get a little notification when it says you're hungry and then you start to take damage when you're starving so it's, it's kind of simple. It doesn't make the game feel like a job. Games like Ark or Rust, which I've drawn those comparisons to, they feel like part-time jobs and I didn't play Ark that much because of it. I did however play a lot of Rust and unless you're doing nothing for a week straight, you're not, your base isn't going to survive that long and you're not going to make it that far. Power World doesn't have that. It's easy to gain materials, gain food and capture monsters. It's, it's just enjoyable for me. I'm looking forward to playing more of it. I'm excited to get a kind of bigger base set up and more automation. I want my little sheep guys to man the machine guns like they do in the picture in the store. I want to hold my totally not a Vulpix like a flamethrower and ride on the back of this big ice eel boss thing that I captured. There's a ton to explore, there's bosses to fight and there's battle towers to complete. So I'm looking forward to seeing what all of that is. I haven't actually managed to get to that yet and there doesn't seem to be a lack of content at the moment. It might come in the future but as of recording this I'm looking forward to seeing what else there is in the game. Overall I would say that this game is pretty decent. It's, it's 20 quid's worth of content. Uh, I tend to judge gameplay and costs based on a pound an hour. I mean obviously I'm in the UK if I'm paying 20 pounds for this if I can get 20 hours of it I'm happy. I would recommend it. If you're a fan of survival games, automation, even Pokemon, if you want to compare it to Pokemon, if you want to fill your Pokedex and pal deck up with all the captures, go for it. I would recommend it. I think it's quite good fun. If you want to hear more rambling, subscribe, check me out on Twitch. I will play more Pal World so my link will be down in the description below.